Daily Mayhem Report is next. There's a time when the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart, that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. It may be 
a little different to you here, um, but please poke around and it doesn't matter what page you go on, you're going to hear the sound, so you won't miss any of the show anyway. So as always, Arnie Gunderson on the ball. Um, any of you that haven't uh, heard of Arnie Gunderson, please get in the chat room, pick up this link to fairwinds.com, subscribe to him. Uh, he's doing outstanding work. The Fukushima deal, it's just, again, uh, our kids are eating it, drinking it, it's pouring down on them in the rain, it's accumulating in the snow, our crops are going to be majorly affected by spring when all of our crops suck up all this radiation that's in the ground. And now, like I said, we're going to jump around this next in the headlines, and this is from the Extinction Protocol. Grease down to the wire to avert financial disaster. Okay. Uh, Greece Prime Minister scrambled on Sunday to convince leaders and politicians to sign off on a 130 billion euro rescue after his finance minister said just hours remain before the Eurozone abandons the country to its fate. Well, isn't that outstanding news? Okay. And for all you sheep that look at the dollar and say, look, the dollar is strong, it's because everything else is gone. It's the only reason the dollar is strong. Everything else is crumbled. Very soon, the dollar will follow. It'll be the last to go. And you'll think everything is fine until the minute it's gone. Okay? And for all you gold lovers, just I, I see bad things. I don't think gold is the answer. I think uh, food... And things that people use every day with no power, uh, go back 100 years ago. What did they use then? That's what you need to stock up on, in my point of view. But to each his own. God bless you all. And speaking of crumbling, uh, the ground, the earth is crumbling. This one, again, from Extinction Protocol, shallow 6.0 magnitude. Earthquake hit Vanatu um, at 1640 UTC. That was on the 5th. Uh, it was the third major earthquake to strike the area in just three days, uh, the first one being a 7.1. Today's earthquake, or yesterday's rather, was very shallow, um, which usually spreads damage, but however, there was no tsunami warning this time for that, or apparently the other two. Uh, more earth changes type of stuff. Again, the ground, the earth is crumbling. Extinction protocol again. I highly recommend that you guys subscribe to Extinction Protocol, 2012 and beyond. Google it, you can find it. Um, just great stuff. And uh, the Philippines is crumbling as well. Uh, and this is kind of uh, scary for those people. I'll read a bit from the post here, dated February 5th. The Philippines, like Japan, is one of the most volatile tectonic areas on Earth. But unlike Japan, the Philippines is under geological assault from plate movements on all sides. Philippine plate is squeezed in between the Eurasian plate and the Pacific plate. The situation is more complex than that. The Philippine islands are surrounded by complex plate boundaries, and the Philippines plate rather consists of several micro plates squeezed in between two convergent plate margins. Okay, so basically, uh, the Philippines is just a bunch of broken pieces squeezed in between two huge pieces of the earth that are coming at each other. And obviously, the next thing that's going to happen is all those tiny pieces of the Philippines are going to be pushed up, smashed up, trembling, and falling into the ocean, broken, split, and the whole place is going to go under. That's that's my take on it. Um, you know, and any of you that want to say, Kevin, you're fear-mongering, well, you know what? If you don't have a little bit of fear, you're a fool. Um, you'll pick up rattlesnakes and die. That's You need to have a little fear. I'm not saying lose your mind. I'm saying be aware, wake up. Ah, good Lord. Now, one of my most blessed topics, Obama bullshit. Now listen to this. I'm not going to go any farther than the Yahoo headline because I don't have time for this character. He needs to be arrested. And hopefully we'll hear more about that Thursday night from Sheriff Mack and get his opinion when he joins Jesus on the main line. I can't wait for that show. Uh, but anyway... Obama says he deserves a second term despite the nation's economic woes. Hello, Mr. President. You did not deserve a first term. You can't prove your identity. You've submitted fraudulent documents, and you've gone so far as to spit on our legal system by not even showing up in Georgia when you were supposed to. No, sir, you do not deserve a second term. You did not deserve a first term. That's my take on it. Anybody doesn't like that, again, attackwatch.com. My name is Kevin Allen. 
also known as the master of many things. You can let him know over there. And keep in mind, I already let him know with my YouTube. I reported both of the YouTube channels that I've had. Let them know that they're going to hear this kind of stuff from me. I would never threaten anybody's life, but you, Mr. President, need to be arrested. You've committed crimes against humanity, more crimes than I care to list during this hour. You need to be arrested. That's my take. I'm beginning to rant. I'll lose my place. Good Lord. Ah, let's see. What else did we have here for you? There's stuff going on all over the place. Um, this one I want to bring to the front line uh, right now. This should be a wake-up call. Uh, this is back sort of close to my hometown. This is in Massachusetts in Cape Cod, um, about three hours north of there. Originally, nearly 130 dolphins have been breached themselves on Cape Cod in the last three weeks, with 92 dying in what became the most single largest stranding in at least two decades in the Northeast. Yes, and the reason I bring this to the front is because not only are humans losing their minds, the animals are as well. They're killing themselves, committing suicide, and they're dying in mass numbers, and they're also attacking people. They are. This year was one of the highest um, going uh, years for animal attacks, both domestic and um, wild, excuse me, tongue-tied, uh, disgusted at what's going on in general. And again, that was from the extinction protocol, uh, the dolphins uh, being stranded. So make sure... Uh, get over there, extinction protocol, it'll, just, it'll give you all this stuff. Nobody's going to give this to you. CNN could care less. They don't want you to have the truth. Uh, Fox, good luck. Good luck with that. Um, storms, weather is wicked and wild. We all know it. 2011 raised hell all over the planet, wiped out about 40% of the food supply that should have hit the shelves in the spring, but it will not. Okay, and it hasn't stopped yet. This, again, from the Extinction Protocol. Italy crippled by winter storm. Snow in Naples. Uh, this was dated the 5th. A winter storm battered much of Italy, bringing Arctic temperatures to the north and snow as far south as Naples, disrupting transport and commerce across the country. Rome got in between 6 and 8 inches of snow, most in a, uh, more than a quarter century, downing trees, snarling traffic, and leaving shops shuttered. Some vehicles were trapped 10 hours on the ring road that surrounded the capital, and trucks were forced to pull off highways in much of the center and north of the country. Good Lord. Weather, wicked and wild, all over the planet. Oh, no, everything's fine, Kevin. Settle down. It's not the end of days. Oh, no, you're, you're wrong about that. Bullshit. This, 5.9 in the Philippines again. And this, uh, 70 aftershock rattled the seafloor, and... The uh, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology denied underwater volcanoes caused a series of earthquakes in eastern Visayas starting Saturday night. Well, of course they're going to deny it. Um, but who's to say? But the, either way, 70 aftershocks, 5.9, shaking and quaking all over the globe. Uh, the earth is under great stress, great stress. Super Bowl headline, you know, I'm not a big sports fan, but for any of you that, that didn't hear it, you're probably sick of it. Uh, Giants 21, Patriots 17 loss. End of discussion, no more sports. And this is wonderful. Okay? If you tell me to settle down, I will not settle down. Uh, plagues. Wars and rumors of war. Okay? Can't deny the wars and rumors of war. What about the plagues? I know that that's a strong rebuttal for some of you sheep. This... Again, the extinction protocol, pestilence watch, culling water after H5N1 virus discovered in Nepal and India, this dated the 6th. Health workers in Nepal are uh, about to cull thousands of chickens following the discovery of H5N1 strain of bird flu in the southeastern part of the Himalayan country. Uh, we sent samples for investigation to London after chickens started to die of a mysterious disease in commercial poultry farms, said Ram Krishna. Kat, Katawada of the government's Dictorate of Animal Health. We received the test reports today that confirmed the infection of bird flu in poultry farms in Kanar and Ithari uh, of the Sansari district. Bird flu has also been confirmed in eastern hills of Panchathar district in the tea producing area of Guam. So this is wonderful, outstanding. Okay, so that's Nepal. 
here in India. Uh, it says about 20,000 birds have been called on the farm of Central Poultry Development Organization. That's outstanding. Oh no, everything's fine. No, it isn't. No, everything's not fine. And the other thing is, these diseases are going to come. We were told they were going to come. They're going to come, but they're also going to create a vaccine that's probably going to make it better. Again, bullshit. Stay away from the vaccines. Don't believe the hype. What is to be is to be, and a vaccine is not going to help it, but you might just help create something else. So stay away from it. Um, this is um, crazy stuff, too. More reminders from Natural News. Uh, this headline today, while the CDC has finally gone bonkers with its insistence that all boys should be routinely injected with HPV vaccines. And guard it yourself. Uh, even though boys don't have a cervix. Now, it, how, how much worse is it going to get people before you wake up and, and see, and you are waking up, this is the thing. In California, they passed a law, 12-year-olds can sign for their own shots. You know why? Because the parents are finally waking up and not giving permission. So they circumvent your wisdom to make their money, and now they're making little boys take little girl shots. Outstanding. Welcome to America. Now we'll kill you. Good Lord. Ah, and uh, this warning to parents, again from Natural News, and I uh, highly recommend naturalnews.com. Subscribe. Parents beware, children who undergo anesthesia having an increased risk of ADHD and brain damage. That's outstanding news. That's great. They keep shoveling the different medicines down here. Children's throat, he's attention deficit. No, he's a boy, uh, or he's an excited girl. A she, excuse me. I'm beginning to rant because I see all this stuff. The vaccines, again, you're affecting my kids. I start getting upset. Uh, some more stuff from Natural News that um, is kind of irritating, if this is true. This is on the uh, headlines today. On the Planned Parenthood issue, Coleman for the Cure has been caught flip flopping more than a gang of penguins in a foot race on the beach. First, Coleman said they would cut off funding to PP, and now they've reversed their position and will once again fund mammograms and abortion centers. Um, it says that the entire Coleman organization is a huge fundraising scam, that they don't cure cancer. They sell fa false hopes and actually cause cancer with their mobile radiation machines. And, and that sounds like a heavy story. I'm going to go ahead and place that in the, uh, the chat room for everybody to look at that's some uh, pretty bold claims. I'll let you read it for yourself. Naturalnews.com for anybody that's just listening. Go to naturalnews.com and search Planned Parenthood Coleman Breast Cancer and you'll find that link as well uh, there on their website. Um, good Lord, it's ridiculous. Now, uh, all the people that were uh, wiped out by the... Uh, Floods and whatnot during Katrina went into FEMA trailers, and the federal government has ruled that people harmed by toxic FEMA trailers cannot sue the federal government. Um, so that's pretty good. More people radiated and poisoned during emergency situations by trailers that they paid for with government money. Turned back around. This is just ridiculous. And many of you might not have known that uh, during the Super Bowl, you're being spied on. That's right, over 8,000 hot dog vendors and other low-level workers to spy on the crowd. Now, this really, okay, <laughs> low-level workers, okay, they're, they're going to take people that really are limited in their uh, ability to deal with a lot of situations. Maybe they only have one or two skills that they, they're not very versatile, let's say. And they're going to put them in charge of filing reports about prospected or suspected terrorist acts. Okay, more Americans are going to jail. I mean, good Lord. Okay, the, the janitor is not the security guard. Okay? He, he, the, the, the guy that works for Park Re Recreations is not the cop. What, what, are, what are we doing? We're paying for this to be spied on by a hot dog vendor. What? What, what do you mean?
mean you're, you're, you're trying to sell me a foam finger while you're, uh, you know, jamming your foot in my ass. Excuse my language, but I, I can't tolerate this stuff. I can't. Make no apologies for my anger. This is just ridiculous. I mean, you go from feeling up grandma at the airport and touching little Susie with the TSA, and now the hot dog guy's going to rat me out because I look a little unusual. Really? Outstanding. Again, welcome to America. Now we kill you. Oh, good Lord. Uh, you know, it, what does it come to? Well, like I said in the beginning, mayhem. It's ridiculous. This, 43 dead. 6.7 earthquake that leaves the Philippines reeling. Big split up the middle of the road. Oh, no, Kevin, everything's fine. Bullshit. The alert level raised in Indonesia's Samaru volcano. This day to today, a slight increase in activity. The volcano uh, has been observed by the Indonesian Geological Survey in recent weeks, and its alert level was raised to 3 out of 4 on February 3rd. So, it's ramping up all over the globe. Things are twisting and contorting. That's what it is. It's a contorting Earth. Earthquakes in diverse places. We were told that too, but no. No, no. We, we don't have to. Anything to worry about. Um, it's a FEMA camp for us. We're fine. Ugh. Good Lord. I, I just, you know, where does it go from here? Okay. Those are the headlines for today that we're in. Normally we have hacker news. I'd like to keep you up to date on what the hackers are doing because uh, a lot of it affects us, but you know what? They've been quiet today, so I would expect hacker news tomorrow. And now we'll go to opening up the lines. If anybody has another horrifying headline that we didn't cover right now, uh, something that's going on in the world, you know, because the last week I've really stayed out of touch trying to get the station up and everything that's going. I, I haven't uh, been keeping up on the headlines as much, and we'll be doing so a little more now. But if any of you have a story that horrifies that uh, they're not going to hear on CNN, uh, give us a call, 270-594-4662. Call number is 270-594-4662. And we'll be here for another little while. Uh, to allow some calls to come in and some interaction. Uh, I'm going to rant for a minute, because again, this whole Obama situation, I, you know, no respect of this country at all. I mean, he, in my mind, really pushed the limit when he spit on the judge in Atlanta and said, I won't come to your... He didn't physically spit, but that he might as well have. He did, ignored it. He didn't show up. Didn't so much as even send his attorney to make an excuse for why he wasn't there. Spit on the shoes of the judge, as far as I'm concerned. No respect of the court. No respect of our laws. No respect of our ways. And I don't agree with all the laws. There's too damn many of them. God had ten laws that ruled all the people now. Just this year alone, last year, 40,000 added to the books. It's ridiculous. But in the meantime, we have laws the American citizens have to abide by. If I didn't show up in Atlanta, Georgia, there'd be a warrant for my arrest. My license would be suspended. And I'd be hunted like a criminal. This man doesn't show up. He gets to run the entire country. And not only that, while he's doing it, he's violating our rules too because he's uh, the seat that he holds on NATO. So he's not only running the country, he's basically running the planet, and he damn sure is acting like it, tromping around the globe, killing and putting embargoes on any country that he doesn't agree with. And then putting the photos out in the mainstream media. Children being killed and all this horrible things going on. The fact of the matter is we don't know if any of them are real. We're not there seeing it ourselves, and we know that... Uh, Provocators have been paid many times over to start these wars. To the contrary, in some non-stream media resources during the time of conflict, we've seen locals praising their current government, such was the case with Gaddafi. 
His people loved him. He did a lot for his country. Now, I'm not a political guy. I can't give you the whole history. It's a 50-50 love him, I hate him. But the fact of the matter is it's his country and it's his people's responsibility until all of our children are fed and all, until all of our children are housed. We don't need to go anywhere. We have the technology to protect the lands that we own without traveling across the sea to kill anyone else. Our children are starving. We don't have the money to help anybody else. Good Lord, if we did, I'd be the first to send it. America used to be the place, when I was a kid growing up, that you could think about your country and say, geez, I like this country, because it has open arms to every person if they're willing to live right, tell the truth, and work hard. They can come to America. And I was proud of that fact. I'm disgusted today that I was, I'm here. Having to call myself in America, I love my country and my people. But my government is foul and illegal and vile. And for any of you that want to give me grief because there was Bush and there was this one and there was that one, there was. You're right. But I'm here now today. And I'm going to hold accountable the man that's in front of me now, Barack Obama. I can't do anything about Bush. I wasn't even politically active or outspoken then. I ignored all of it because I knew it was all BS, a lie, a manipulation. I wouldn't have any part of it, so I never listened to any of it. So I didn't know the details of what was going on. Well, I know now. I really started waking up a year ago when Fukushima blew up on the West Coast. Thank God for that. I knew, common sense told me, the jet stream was going to bring that radiation here. So I started learning. And when you look for news, you find more news. And the whole thing keeps going and going and going. And then I became a talk show host. Now, uh, less than a year later, I started my own talk radio network. Great response. But I wouldn't have got here if I didn't care about what was going on. I knew I had to be aware. Common sense told me. And since then, I've spent 16 to 18 hours a day pounding through news. People send me blogs and videos and all day long to the point I can't look at half of them. But I'll tell you what, I get a pretty good picture of what's going on in every little speck of this earth right now, and it's foul. It's not good. And here in our country, it's worse than that. There is. There's dangers waiting for the people. The government is not making you aware of it. Obama telling you that his top officials know radiation was going to get here three days later. You were eating it. If you're on the West Coast, you still are. Everything is fine. Everything's within safe limits because we will raise them in some cases 35,000 times. You're fine. Maybe you and I are because by the time we would have died anyway, nobody will know that it's from Fukushima. But what about your kids that are five, six years old right now when they hit their mid-twenties and they're active in sports and their hearts haven't developed enough? They drop dead on the playing field. Because Obama, instead of telling you that we had low levels of radiation here and you must start changing your diet, and you must try to stay out of the rain, and you must do uh, little things that really don't cost you a whole lot. No, he didn't tell you a damn thing. Half of the media pepped it up so you ran out and by potassium iodide and ate it. Maybe some of you got sick and you didn't even need it for a nuclear uh, disaster right near you, quick, temporary fix still have to go through the routine of changing your diet, changing your lifestyle habits when you're out, when you're not out. I didn't tell you any of that. Hell no. If you'd like any radiation news and updates, I try to keep that updated. Masterofmanythings.com. Go there and check out the radiation updates page. This stuff exhausts me. It does. It's ridiculous. It's horrible, and uh, I've really uh, come to a place where I, I want to see everybody up and start speaking about this stuff. We've got to hold our uh, leaders accountable, and that is that. That is the day, folks. That's the mayhem for the day, and that's Kevin doing a little rant for everybody, getting it out. It's been a long time. Um, I'm honored at all the support. I want to give some shout-outs and thanks to Justin Time. Uh, for all his support, Tom Gilroy, working endlessly 
Tom will be on with us Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Uh, tomorrow night, again, Jesus on the main line. And then again on Thursday and Friday. And make sure you spread the word. Sheriff Mack and I believe other members of Oath Keepers. It's going to be an outstanding show. Uh, it'll really give some of us some encouragement that people are standing up and they're going to do what's right and they're trying to turn this country around. Uh, so it'll be an encouraging show and an informative show. Make sure you're there. And so, until tomorrow night at 7 p.m., when Craig Kirk comes live again for the legal wars, we're going to get out of here. But um, Craig starts at 7. And a shout-out to Craig, too. He's been very supportive of the site as well. Uh, make sure it's a Craig show because... I'll tell you, man, he's got some things, uh, I learned a lot from the man, and he's going to tell you what law really is, and what it really means, and where the fallacies and the lies are, so you can make some decisions about how you handle in your life, dealing with the law when you have to. That is the day.